So in a dream, you are bringing this awareness in the dream. In the very first state, is what we call, in the West now they call lucid dream. This is the first step. So bring this awareness within the dream and you are realizing I am dream. And that first one and then the second and third and there are other other practice. If you are success in dream yoga, something will what do you call? Disappear. If you manage to do in a dream, that will help you in a, in a so-called daytime. So you, when you are looking at the people, the attitude will be automatically changed. If you use different language, dream is ha happening in an unconscious world. If there you can fix in a conscious world, automatically attitude will be changed. The way you are talking with people, the way you are dealing with people, the way you are thinking about people will be completely changed. Clear light. And some of you practice this clear light, no? The clear light, clear light. The clear light practice, sometimes people say that practice of Mahamudra. So here it says, the, through the clear light, yoga or clear light practice, you can liberate your ignorance if you succeed to practice clear light meditation or clear light yoga. So we use this clear light technique in order to utilize this deep sleep in, because deep, deep sleep, in a sleep of what? A state of delta? Do you know there's a, the brain right now? Right now, what is happening in your brain when you are listening to my voice? When you are looking at me? So some of you are might be in the alpha state. Some of you are might be in a beta state. Maybe some of you are in the going toward the delta state. <laughs> the delta state is <laughs> like hearing the voice but not really understanding. <laughs> do, do you understand what I mean? In the deep sleep. So through this clear light practice, so you can overcome from ignorance. So we will go in the next stage, slowly. The fifth one, POA. I think most of 60, 70% of you are very familiar with the POA. So if you are really success in POA, you don't have to practice anything. Do you understand? If you really success in, that's very important. I'm here, I'm here emphasizing on the success. If you really success in power, I mean, you don't have to do anything. You're already done. So here I say power of Bhagavad Sanchi. So Parato Jalva Lanko. What is the sixth one? Parato Yoga. No? Do you know Parado? Intermediate state. Like a life after death. And then the, you take a next life. So there is this 49 days gap. That is called Parvo. As soon as you leave this body, the consciousness will come out, alive consciousness. And then there is a 49 days period of time. And then we take a rebirth. Doesn't matter in human or other realm. There is a sixth realm. You have many choice. So in this period of time, 49 days called Parvo. Some, sometimes it is just take 20 days. It's a transition period of time. So it's completely up to you, like how, how complicated your mind is. If you are very complicated, then it will take 49 days on this process. It's almost like a, you're applying the Indian visa or some other <laughs> visa. If you're a little complicated situation, it will take like, I don't know, even months and months, you know? But if you're clear, everything is good, maybe it's, the process might be faster. So it's very individual, and it depends on what citizen you are. <laughs> in Bardo, if you really like a master in Bardo, you will be in a Sambhuka Kaya. What is that? Sambhuka Kaya. Sambhuka Kaya is also enlightenment state. That you will be in a Sambhuka Kaya enlightenment state of mind. You will definitely 
get in a part of the state, in the spirit of time. 